Last year, a certain company began manufacturing Product X and sold every unit of Product X that it produced. Last year, the company's total expenses for manufacturing Product X were equal to $100,000 plus 5% of the company's total revenue from all units of Product X sold. If the company made a profit on Product X last year, did the company sell more than 21,000 units of Product X last year? So first of all, I'm going to use R as the total revenue, C as the total cost or the expenses, and we're told that C equals 100,000 plus 5% of revenue, plus 0.05 R. Now, of course, profit, as always, equals revenue minus cost. So revenue minus 100,000 minus 0.05R. So R minus 0.05R, what that is, is 0.95R minus 100,000. And this has to be greater than zero. So in other words, 95% of the revenue must be greater than 100,000. So that's what we know from the given information. We're looking for the number of units sold. And notice that everything we're dealing with so far, total revenue, total cost, we'd need something about price or cost per unit or something like that to get down to the number of individual units. So we're kind of far away from what we need to know right now. Statement number one tells us that last year the total revenue from the sale product X was greater than 110,000. So R is greater than 110,000. And we'd like to know how many units. Well, without the unit price, we have no idea. The unit price could be $2, in which case we sold over 50,000 units. Or the unit price could be $5,000, in which case we sold only 22 units. So without knowing the individual price, we can say absolutely nothing about the number of units sold. So statement number one by itself is simply insufficient. Statement number two tells us for each unit of Product X sold last year, the company's revenue was $5. So that means that we sold N units, 5 times N equals the revenue. And so what that means is that 0 0.95 times R, or 0.95 times 5N, has to be greater than 100,000. Well, 5 times 0 0.95, 0 0.95 if you think about it, that's, that is 19 twentieths. You need 20 quarters to make $5, so 19 twentieths of $5, you just subtract a quarter. And so 9, 0.95 times 5 is 475. 4.75 times n, and we know that this has to be greater than 100,000 in order to turn a profit. Well, it looks like here we might be faced with long division, but we can use a slight trick here. We could just say, let's pick n equals 21,000, the actual value that we're considering. 21,000. Suppose n equals 21,000. Well, then 4.75 times 21,000. Admittedly, you have to do a little multiplication out, but it turns out what this equals is 99,750. So in other words, this is not quite enough to be over 100,000. So it means the number of products must be more than 2,100 so that this number is more than 100,000. So statement number two absolutely requires the number of products to be more than 21,000. And so we have a sufficient answer to our question. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. And the answer is B.